The sound of singing birds underneath that of young children heading to the well greets you as you reach Chirangira village, Namobilu Parish, Namastabu County, Mokono District. It is just one of the many beautiful natural sounds you will experience and the children are enjoying it. These children are helping out during holidays. They can play as they go to the well, but the principle of getting involved in household activities is met. This young boy went along with his mother to the garden and returns carrying a sack far bigger than him. This mother with a baby strapped on her back is returning from the garden, her children following close by. She's involving them in activities during their holidays. Across the footpath, Kevin, Sumaya, Yusuf and their sibling, all in their holidays are harvesting groundnuts they planted in the second term holidays under the watchful eye of the birds. The yield was not the best, but they are not disappointed. There is an opportunity for them to get better yields in their next attempt. Indeed, they have already made that attempt. This potato garden is also fruit of their holiday labor. Kevin and her siblings do much more than digging. They rise up at 6 a.m., clean the compound and house, wash utensils before heading for the garden. Kevin Namva at 18 is instrumental in guiding her much young siblings. Her favorite activity is organizing the house, which she says makes her feel good, whilst Maya prefers digging. I like it because I understand more things than digging. Both have no kind words for lazy, proud and disrespectful children who would rather loiter and watch TV than help out in the hall. They should not risk their lives to go to dance halls because they may get problems like like being raped like that. I advise them to stop that because that that won't make them to develop. I advise them to to do more activities that will make them to develop. There are challenges though that come with the territory. Sometimes we face a problem of no rain when it finds us this side because we don't have where to go. We never trains. But their much older brother, Abbas Sozi Segwia, is a living testimony of what proper use of holiday time can do for a child. He was raised the hard way, waking up as early as 3 a.m. to draw water from the well that was so scarce at the time. He reached university when he could still carry a jerry can of water on his head. At the time, he felt like it was a punishment and many times he failed to cope and his father would drag him out of bed until he got used. He now has only only praise for what his parents allowed him to experience. An older man now, he can wash clothes, cook and still wakes up early to do proposals. It has shaped me in a way that I'm too humble at home. That I, I, I cannot collide with my wife because he has not prepared me food. I cannot collide with my wife because he has not ironed my shirt. There are things at home that I feel I can do and it's my obligation to do. He too advises parents to assign specific tasks for their children during the holidays and have them grow up with a work-centered mindset. Parents should at least uh, 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 give tasks to their children on, 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 on a timely basis. There should be a timetable and they should also train their children that working is not a punishment but working is is inevitable. Every, every child must work if he or he is to be successful in the future. Their father Moses Segwia says his motivation is the fact that nothing in his life has come free and having money should not be an excuse for parents to let their children have their way. It's your responsibility as a parent to groom your child. And though he respects their study and playtime, he teaches them to work and live independently and warns parents of consequences associated with not teaching children to work hard enough. 
mataka waga tunze, ama yumba waga tunze. Children, if well mentored, they will carry on the family legacy. Bwabwa mwana nga, wabaduo mkwazi sanga ama nyokola. Ujia kusanga nga irinya asuburo kulipuma, libereo nga bwala ba manyaga meta. Parents should therefore find a middle ground between love for their children and raising them responsibly. Having them loiter and watch too much TV is only a recipe for disaster that will exhibit more serious consequences in the child's future. This is Kevin and she is in her senior sense. Her age mates in town are probably relaxing in the living rooms of the houses watching television. But it is not so with Kevin. She is from her garden and right now she is preparing to prepare a meal for her siblings. Harriet Lampasa, Kevin Gestik, Bill, Yakon.